back for another round of fairing on these. section of the boat hasn't been fully fared yet but I really have no way to know until uh, I try to put them in. I'm out to think 10 liters won't go far. It looks like there was more in imperfection than there is. And matte is always a good look to, to hide some stuff. Ah, there's not so much no, to hide. There's not much to hide, no. No, I agree. It looks really good. Hi there and thanks for tuning in last week in such a great number to see the beautiful result of our spray painting in the cockpit. Before we can continue the rewarding airless spray painting activities on Vilda and while we are waiting for the second batch of primer delivery, we take on a few more jobs that are on our to-do list. In this episode, Axel is doing a bit more cleaning and fairing and he takes a look at the rudders and the daggerboard cases to see what jobs are pending there. Then we prepare to work on another little boat project, the cockpit table pedestal support. Stay with us! Back for another round of fairing on these. Uh, <laughs> nothing uh, is fared in one go. Well, what I've done is made these pieces, um, put one layer of fairing on, sanded that down, painted it, sanded that down, and now I'm fairing again. So I'm not fairing these particularly well because I don't need to. This is a table and uh, it'll be in the cockpit. It'll be nice if, if, if it turns out nice, and I'm fairing it with this uh, epoxy fairing compound this round as well. Next round, where there will only be small, small imperfections, then I might use a uh, car body, body filler. Following our tradition, as you know, there cannot be an episode of Building Vilda without some oh glorious Sandy. And on the side here, I've done some uh, some additional filling. I'm waiting for paint, so might as well make the surface that little bit more, well, that little bit better. It won't hurt. And uh, yeah, it's gonna look great with some paint on. But I'm out of paint. Ten liters won't go far, and that's that's what I have right now. I'm waiting for a delivery and once that's here I'll finish off getting the whole deck and these two sides done. And I really hope I then have enough to think. 40 liters should should go. Should be enough for the for the rest of the exterior. As the hulls were nearly ready for spray painting, we checked again the deck and started cleaning inside the lockers to avoid having too much dirt and dust flying around. Next on the list was to have a look at the rudders and see what's left to be done there. So, I've had a little bit of a look at my rudders and uh, these, yeah, this is what they look like. I need to lift these up eventually and uh, I just tested that and oh, not a problem at all. Uh, so this is an acetal bearing 
upper top and bottom. There's one in a huge fiberglass uh, pipe. And then there's another one at the top of that pipe inside. Uh, they don't seem to be very well balanced rudders, uh, which surprises me a little bit, but I'm not yet a, <laughs> a boat designer, so I'll, uh, let's, let's just say I'm not going to change anything. Uh, we'll, we'll go sailing with these and they're going to be heavy to steer it looks like, but uh, yeah, we'll see. I'm really surprised because I would have expected the leading edge to be quite a bit more forward. But they are what they are and like I said I'm not changing it. Not at this time. Anyway, so uh, what I need to do is lift them up into place. And this section of the boat hasn't been fully fared yet. So I'll uh, make it pretty. And uh, once that's pretty and the rudder clears nicely here, then uh, I'll put a little bit of paint on it and uh, the, we have one less thing to worry about. For a minute in the quiet it feels like it was before I get lost just for a moment thinking I'm not where I am And I didn't want to feel this way, try to be in out of place Give me a one way ticket out of here someplace I know I can't be happy, it's not in my I have a similar project uh, further forward here by the Dagger Boys. So, a long time ago, uh, I worked on these Dagger Boys uh, and glued them in place. So, they are looking very nice. But I need to clean them up and do some filling and fairing. Hope, like hell, that the dagger boards will still fit. <laughs> That's a problem with many of these boats. Uh, you build the dagger board first, and then the dagger board casing around that, and then it takes people many, many years to finish their boats. And when they, when they want to put the dagger boards in, they don't fit. Because when this is glued in, you're adding some extra glass that wasn't accounted for uh, in the very first stages of the build. I'm hoping that's not going to be the case with my pot, but I really have no way to know until uh, I try to put them in. And the thing is, I couldn't do that if I wanted to right now, because uh, they're so tall, I can't lift them up above the boat in this shed. So, that remains to be seen. But this is all nicely glassed in, and so is the other side. And all they need is some fairing compound to make them look pretty. And then some paint. So, sanding under the boat today and filling. With these jobs completed, we can return to the cockpit to adjust those two aft lockers hatches. They needed a bit more work to fit there properly. And before Axel tells you more about our next cockpit mini project, I would like to introduce to you our recently launched Patreon page. So if you really enjoy our videos and you think you might want to support our project a little bit more, please have a look at the Patreon page and find our latest updates, including some top coat color. Thanks so much!
as a break from sanding, I've started another project. So I'm uh, building a base for our cockpit table. And yeah, you might ask why, but I want to paint the, the cockpit or the cockpit floor. Doing this before I paint is a hell of a lot better than doing it after. So, I have a telescopic pedestal and uh, that'll go up and down. And, uh, I have an uneven surface on the deck. What I was trying to explain is that the cockpit deck isn't perpendicular to the bulkhead, so I can't just bolt the table in place. The tabletop needs to move parallel to the bulkhead, and the foam base I'm making is compensating for the difference in angle there. After lots of tiny adjustments to the base, I finally got, got it to the shape it needed to be, and uh, glued it in place. And it shifted a bit. so. I'll have to do some tiny adjustments <laughs> as we install the uh, pedestal and, and table after paint. I think I've done pretty good with this table. Uh, so I've <laughs> reinforced this. This is a substantial piece of glass. Uh, and not that the table really needs it, it's just that the attachment points uh, will. So screwing anything into foam or balsa core is uh, not ideal. But this is uh, a four millimeter sheet of glass, five maybe. and. Uh, It'll spread the load, obviously, um, and uh, it'll give me something to actually attach the ped pedestal to. So, now it's now the table's flat on the right side as well, which is uh, <laughs> always good. Actually, it would have had to be fair both sides anyway, because yeah, it's uh, it's gonna be um, in our faces. Uh, the pedestal, we'll see what that looks like, but uh, I did manage to get some um, some air into the into the glue down I did yesterday, so so this thing is not perfect. It's a little bit rough now, I need to sand it down and do a little bit of fairing and shaping. And the uh, same thing here. Uh, foam and balsa core is no good to screw into uh, so I made holes in uh, in the foam that I built this with filled that with uh, fiberglass and uh, epoxy in this case I filled it with uh, uh, chopped uh, pieces of uh, yeah chopped up uh, fiberglass uh, to give it some extra strength, no filler, uh, and so it's fiber, uh, more more glassy simply. And then same here, four millimeter sheet uh, of glass on top, and hopefully I still have enough clearance for um, for the table. And I'm expecting I'll have to shave this off a little bit to. to make everything nice and level again after the glue up but it won't be by much so so this will go on here of course with some thread inserts and, and, then, and a beautiful table Yeah, 
I'm pretty pleased with this. It's gonna work out nice. Now all we need to do is some, <laughs> some more sanding. <laughs> ah, the sanding never, never ends. It's, it's, I don't know. It destroys you. <laughs> Thanks for watching our progress unfold. If you enjoy our videos, a free simple way to support us is by subscribing to our channel, giving us a like or a comment. We have a new video every Sunday.